Shell Shock and Past Military Trauma In this video, I will talk about the phenomenon of shell shock along with the history of military trauma and how people back then comprehended shell shock. Before we begin, you might ask, what is shell shock anyways? To describe shell shock, according to the Smithsonian Magazine The Shock of War by Alexander Caroline, it is stated, in a landmark article, Captain Charles Myers of the Royal Army Medical Corps noted the remarkable close similarity of symptoms in three soldiers who had each been exposed to exploding shells. Case 1 had endured six or seven shells exploding around him. Case 2 had been buried under earth for 18 hours after a shell collapsed his trench. Case 3 had been blown off a pile of bricks 15 feet high. Soldiers that went through cases like these were showing similar symptoms of loss of memory, smell, and taste, trembling slash shaking, headaches, dizziness, lack of focus, sleep problems, and so on. That is where shell shock essentially got its name. An article from the American Psychological Association states that the term shell shock was coined by the soldiers themselves. This proves that shell shock got its name from bombardment and the shock that came afterwards to the victims. In the beginning, people believed that the symptoms were resulting from the shock of the bombs and the damage was commotional or related to the severe concussive motion of the shaken brain in the soldier's skull, states the article from the Smithsonian Magazine. Shell shock was understood back then as a physical injury. It was 1916 when people started to notice that some soldiers that have shell shock symptoms actually have never even been near a bombardment. The article The Shock of War from the Smithsonian Magazine claims, rather, their condition was one of neurasthenia, the weakness of the nerves in layman's terms, a nervous breakdown precipitated by the dreadful stress of war. Some people fail to take shell shock seriously. An example of this is during World War II when the British Army assigned psychologist Charles S. Myers to observe shell shock. According to the American Psychological Association, it is stated, Myers was criticized by those who believed that shell shock was simply cowardice or malingering. Some thought the condition would be better addressed by military discipline. There were also authorities who refused to believe it was something genuine. According to the article from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, it is stated, Some American military leaders, such as Lieutenant Gen. George S. Patton, did not believe battle fatigue was real. How does shell shock relate to post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD? Even though shell shock and PTSD have similar symptoms, they are not exactly the same. In the article from Psychology Today titled, Is Shell Shock the Same as PTSD? It is stated, They are the same because shell shock was an intellectual forerunner to PTSD. They also claim, The difference, however, is that shell shock was specific to the experiences of combat, whereas the concept of PTSD has developed to be more wide-ranging. There were some frail attempts to treat shell shock. It is stated in the article from the U.S. Veteran Affairs that soldiers were often returned to battle after receiving drugs to control symptoms and received only a few days rest before returning to the war zone. If cases and symptoms were dire, it is stated that treatments focused on daily activity to increase functioning in hopes of returning them to productive civilian lives. Also, it is stated that in European hospitals, hydrotherapy, water, or electrotherapy, shock were used along with hypnosis. Shell shock took many people by surprise during wars in the past. Even though there were some people who denied the existence of shell shock and the suffering of the soldiers, there were people who tried to understand it and communicate it to the world, such as psychologist Charles Myers. Now, shell shock has been studied and it influenced the study of post-traumatic stress disorder and many other psychological phenomena today.